2021 travel trends. Let's go ahead and talk about them. We've already made it through the first quarter of 2021, and we are seeing some big changes compared to last year. Now, some of the biggest changes are is this consumer confidence, traveler's confidence in getting back out there. A lot of that is due in part to vaccinations. As the vaccinations roll out within the United States, travelers are feeling more comfortable getting out of their homes, getting out of their cities, staying in a hotel, getting on a plane, which is great. There is also an aspect of pandemic fatigue. At this point, we've been in this for over a year. We know the precautions that we need to take. We know what we need to do. And uh, we're feeling kind of comfortable to just get out there, obviously doing the right thing when we travel. So those two aspects are definitely heavily at play into um, increasing that sort of traveler confidence and helping people get back out there. Now, some other trends that we are seeing that started in 2020 that we're also seeing continue into 2021 under the realm of domestic travel as international travel bans are still well, they're still up in the air. So we are seeing people really focus on domestic destinations. So that includes road trips, outdoor destinations such as national parks and beaches. We're also seeing home rentals. A lot of people are traveling with their families, taking multi-generational trips. So you've got everyone from grandparents to grandkids. So they need a bigger space to really kind of in enjoy themselves. And they might even be going on longer trips. Maybe they haven't even taken a trip for a year, so they want that uh, time to really enjoy themselves in a different destination. Now, all-inclusives are also still proving to be popular. What's been great about that, especially in Central America as well as the Caribbean, all-inclusives have been hot because it's been an easy way to sort of travel internationally and having this sort of one place. It's a one-stop shop when it comes to travels. All in all, it is looking to be a positive and more optimistic year and certainly summer when it comes to travel. One of the big things, the term that everybody's throwing around are vaccinations. Don't know how I feel about that, but um, I will say that if you do get your vaccine and you are feeling comfortable getting out there, just remember, you know, to still travel responsibly and be mindful of the destination that you're going to as well too. Just because you have the luxury to travel doesn't mean that you are traveling to escape the pandemic. It's still happening everywhere. So that being said, that's what we're seeing in the world of 2021 travel trends. Want to find out what are you doing? Are you doing any of these trends? Are you doing something else entirely? Did I not touch on something that you're seeing a lot of people do? Let me know in the comments below. Always love sharing these with you guys and uh, looking forward to seeing you guys next week.